bright duty every student matters now in this angle acb is 90 degrees so this angle is 90 cd is perpendicular to ab so this is also 90 and we need to prove bc square by ac square equal to bd by ad okay so if i can obtain bc square and ac square separately then i'll divide bc square by ac square so you see that this triangle here triangle dbc and triangle cba okay this smaller one and the bigger one angle d is equal to angle c angle d in triangle dbc is equal to angle c in triangle cba because both of them are equal to 90 degrees right and what about angle b it is common in both the triangles so angle b is equal to angle b common in both the triangles so triangle dbc is similar to triangle cba by angle angle similarity okay now if these are similar what can i say about bc by ba bc by ba it will be equal to db by cb cb is nothing but bc itself so i am cross multiplying these to get bc square bc square is equal to ba into db okay similarly i can prove that this triangle here triangle adc and triangle acb these two triangles are similar how because angle a is common in both these triangles right this angle is common angle d in triangle adc is 90 degrees and angle c in triangle acb is 90 degrees so these are equal and equal to 90 degrees so triangle adc is similar to triangle acb hence what can i say about ac square i will obtain ac square like this ac by ab is equal to ad by ac right because in two similar triangles the ratio of corresponding sides is equal hence i obtained ac square equal to ab into ad now i just require the ratio of bc square and ac square so bc square by ac square will be equal to ba into db divided by ab into ad ba and ab are same so it can be cancelled db by ad db by ad or bd by ad one and the same thing so it can be written as bd by ad hence proved so whenever we have got a right angle triangle like this right let us say it is right angle at this angle and when i draw a perpendicular from this vertex to this side which is hypotenuse then these three triangles this triangle is similar to the bigger one this triangle is also similar to the bigger one and these two triangles are similar to each other also why it can be easily seen let us say this angle is alpha this angle being 90 what will be this angle this angle will be 90 minus alpha so that the sum of three angles can be equal to 180 degrees and see this angle is also 90 and this is 90 minus alpha so this angle here will become alpha so that the sum of three angles of this triangle this triangle is 180 right so if this is alpha this is 90 this will be 90 minus alpha now you can see these two smaller triangles three angles of these triangle this these two triangle all the three angles of these two triangles are equal okay so these are similar to each other and these are similar to the bigger one also now a ladder is placed against a wall in such a way that its foot is at a distance of 2.5 meter that is this distance is 2.5 its top reaches a window 6 meter above the ground 
So, this distance is 6 meter. Find the length of the ladder. So, we need to find this length that is AB and this is 90 degrees, right? Because this is a wall and it is at 90 degrees with the ground, okay? So, by Pythagoras theorem, I can say A B square that is hypotenuse square is equal to B C square plus A C square. So, A B square is equal to 2.5 squared plus A C square that is 6 squared. Okay. So, this can be written as 5 by 2 squared plus 6 square and it is 25 by 4 plus 36. So, a b square is equal to 25 plus 36 into 4 is 144 and it is divided by 4 here. 144 plus 25 is 169 divided by 4. So, a b a b is square root of 169 by 4 that is 13 by 2 and it is equal to 6.5 meter. So, this length the length of this ladder is 6.5 meter. Okay. Now, in this figure a d is perpendicular to b c. Okay. So, this angle is 90 prove that a b square plus c d square is equal to b d square plus a c square. So, we will focus on one of these sides. So, let us focus on left hand side. How can we obtain a b square? See, this angle is 90 degrees. So, for this triangle a b is the hypotenuse for triangle a b d in triangle a b d by Pythagoras theorem. I can say a b square is equal to b d square plus a d square, right? because a b is opposite 90 degrees, hence the hypotenuse of this triangle. Now, to obtain c d, let me use this triangle. So, in triangle a c d, a c is the hypotenuse. So, a c square will be equal to a d square plus c d square. Okay. Now, see. I do not require A D because I need to prove this and A D is not there in this. So, let me subtract these equations that is first minus second let us say. So, A B square minus A C square will be equal to B D square minus C D square and A D square will get cancelled. Right? Now, let me bring C D square on the left hand side, A B square plus C D square will become B D square plus A C square and that is what I had to prove here. So, I will write hence it is proved. Okay. B L and C M are medians of triangle A B C right angle at A. So, B L is median that means C L is equal to L A. C M is a median so B M is equal to M A and this is right angle. Prove that 4 B L square plus C M square is equal to 5 B C square. So, let us not think too much about how to proceed in this question. I am given that these are right this angle is a right angle. So, let me search for right triangles and apply Pythagoras theorem. Then we will see which how to manipulate those equations to form this expression. Okay. So, let us start with let us say triangle in triangle A C M. Angle A is 90 degrees. So, by Pythagoras theorem A, a M square plus A C square will be equal to C m square, right? A m is nothing but half of a b. So, a m can be written as a b by 2 squared plus a c square is equal to C m square. 
right so it will become a b square by 4 so let me multiply the entire equation by 4 so a b square plus 4 a c square is equal to 4 c m square right a b and a c are required right because their sum of their squares will become b c square which i need in this formula so a b and a c are good and c m square also i require so this is an equation that i can use to manipulate and bring out this result okay so which other right triangle can we use here in triangle a b l let us say b l is the hypotenuse so b l square will be equal to a l square plus a b square and what is a l it is half of a c so a c square by 4 plus a b square b l square so a c square plus 4 a b square is equal to 4 b l square right i require b l square also so i require 4 c m square and 4 b l square so i have got it in these two equations so let me add these equations and then see what else is to be done add 1 and 2 on one side that is right hand side i will get let us say the right hand sides will give me a sum 4 c m square plus b l square and this left hand side is a b square plus 4 a c square and here i will have a c square plus 4 a b square right now this will give me 5 a b square plus 5 a c square and what is a b square plus a c square we know triangle a b c is also a right angle triangle with b c as the hypotenuse so b c square should be equal to a b square plus a c square by pythagoras theorem so 5 this will become b c square and this is what we had to prove here okay hence it is proved now o is any point inside this rectangle a b c d we need to prove o b square plus o d square is equal to o a square plus o c square so the construction i want you to do is draw this line p q parallel to a d or b c because these two lines are anyway parallel to each other so p q will be parallel to a d and will be parallel to b c this way this a p q d also becomes a rectangle and all the angles of rectangle are 90 degrees so these angles are 90 degrees each right and opposite sides of a rectangle are equal so this side is equal to this side this segment is equal to this segment here and this segment is equal to this segment because these are individually rectangles because of this construction pq being parallel to ad and parallel to bc so once you understand this much we just need to apply pythagoras theorem now so what have we done in this draw pq parallel to ad which is parallel to bc so a b c d being a rectangle a p q d and b p q c are also rectangles right now applying pythagoras theorem let us say in this triangle a o p in triangle a o p o a square will be equal to a p square plus o p square right in this triangle if i apply pythagoras theorem in triangle o q c i will get o c square which is opposite this 90 degrees angle equal to o q square plus q c square right and i require the sum of o a square plus o c square so let me add these two o a square plus o c square is equal to a p square 
plus op square plus oq square plus qc square but i need ob square and od square so here i don't see ob square and od square but where is ob here i have got ob right so op square plus pb square can give me ob square and what is pb pb is equal to qc so i'll club op square and qc square so op square and qc square and rest of the terms i like here i'll write here okay now qc can be replaced by pp op square plus pb square here and ap square plus oq square so ap i'll replace by dq so dq square plus oq square right now op square plus pb square using pythagoras theorem square of this and square of this is going to be equal to ob square dq and oq dq and oq their sum of their squares will be equal to od square so plus od square this is what we had to prove okay 